now I'm uh, uh, remembering the table of um, founding father of the Yumi's grandchildren and I'm also married. Um, maybe I remember him till a day where I'm being to me dependent on the white man. On Saturday, 26 February 2021, Papua New Guinea lost its founding father, the late Grand Chief Sam Michael Thomas Somare, who succumbed to a short illness. Today, as the country reflects on his life, late Sam Michael has been recalled by many ordinary citizens as the man who stood bravely among the foreigners and led the country into independence. <laughs> Only satisfied, now I will life. And that's all, and they will get the work again. The citizens have attributed the life of late Grand Chief as one of the greatest blessings the country has ever had. His contributions and sacrifices has brought this country thus far. Of course, uh, Grand Chief has been since the independence now. Some line, uh, look out to you, I think, by me come up with some. Uh, West Papua, na ba mipla ba staplo, postplo na rapla line na ba mipla na pisi prido. I'm a grand chief, sir. My call him like in independence. Um, one the part me interest loan. All white man ask him, all southern man blue way, all lawyers blue way, all ba all engineers blue, all pilot blue, all doctors blue way. Na, sir, my call him kirab na him talk him all white man. I'm here, all bell mama staff here, all pilot, engineers, doctors, nurses, teachers. Uh, I'm all by all by come up here. I'm all, all staff. It's all and work here now. All by running Papua New Guinea. And, um, it's not talk make him now. I'm passing all that Indian ball white man. All white man like to talk here. I'm passing Indian ball also. All white man talk me more like me for one belong in independence. The fallen of the country's founding father has been reflected as one of the saddest moments in PNG's history and will be remembered for by generations to come. Formal events in commemoration of late Grand Chief's death anniversary is currently underway in the nation's capital. Stella Martin, NBC National News, Port Moresby.